Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to the Coffee Run Live episode 459, which is completely, as usual, ridiculous. Oh, good. And the description didn't go in. That's always helpful. Um, I don't know what we're going to talk about today, but I'm sure it'll be something amazing. Um, I did just get home not very long ago from meeting with a very Jeremy and Kim from The Mind Master, and we were talking about, um, you know, how how we are all kind of going with managing these um, these turbulent and interesting times. And I think um, one of the things that I keep being reminded of that I thought I would absolutely or that I'm reminding you all of as well, just make sure that the Wi-Fi is off because it's not working. Um, is the power of the power of planning. Now I've got a brand new download that I'm just getting ready for you guys that I will share. So I'm having trouble with getting this camera sitting right today. We're just going to be a bit lopsided. Hope that's okay. We're going to be a bit lopsided today. Hey, Jeremy. So to me, one of the most powerful things that you can do is make sure that you've got a way of being able to focus. So trying and uh, turbulent times come with a whole host of other issues, which is focus issues, um, feeling a bit scattered, feeling a bit overwhelmed, and all of these different things. And I think one of the best things that you can do is, is really have a really tight little narrow focus so that you've got, okay, what am I doing today so that you don't have to think. One of the things that I remember um, reading about quite some time ago were the habits of people like Mark Zuckerberg and Steve Jobs where they would wear the same thing every day. Now, I'm not interested in wearing the same thing every day, but what I do do, what, I, what I'm interested in was some of the methodology and their thinking around not wanting to think in the morning, right? Not wanting to have to use brain space to consider this type of thing. So ever since I was, oh, ever since I can remember, since I was a teenager, I laid out my clothes the night before because I like to sleep and I like to sleep in and I don't want to have to go through the whole house trying to find all of these different things, trying to find clothes, undies, socks, pants, tops, you know, jumpers, whatever. So even to this day, I still, every single night, I get my clothes out ready the night before so that when I get up, regardless of whether it's 5.30 in the morning or 9 a.m., doesn't matter, I've just got the, the clothes are ready either after I have a shower or for to go out and I walk and then I'll shower when we come home. So it's that kind of to me is like that kind of thinking and that kind of pre-planning allows my brain to think about the more important things, hey Denise, rather than the, 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 I mean, what you wear is like not trivial, let's be honest, like what you wear is important. To me, what you wear is the thing that's kind of gonna make you feel like, yes, I've got this and I own today versus, you know, I just wanna lounge around in my slouchy little thing. So for me, like what, what I wear has a direct impact on, on how I feel. So for me, if I can get my clothes out the night before, have them all set and ready so that I don't have to think about it, and I look at my wardrobe and I'm like, all right, what do I feel amazing in? What have I got coming up for today? Hi, Carol, what am I working on? Oh, like tomorrow, like what am I working on? What, am I, what do I need to do? What do I need to achieve? Who do I need to see? Who am I showing up for? It'll, it will impact what I select out of my wardrobe, right? So that's that. But to me, the other thing that's really important, and, and this is what I love about a planning process, is that if you have got, if you know what it is that you need to focus on today, because you've already got it written down, then that is a huge part of you being able to really kind of get into that slipstream of you operating from a place of, of being productive, of being inspired, and basically and it enables you to get rid of all of the other noise, right? So something that I'm just, I'm going through doing right now uh, as we speak, it, or not literally as we speak, because I'm obviously talking to you, but what I was doing just before jumping on here this morning is I, I've got... I, I hadn't done my plan for this week, right? It's my daughter's birthday yesterday and we had a 
you know, had a rough, big, big weekend and doing different things and running around and doing all of this stuff. So I didn't do my planning yet for this week. So this morning, I'm kind of like, all right, I've got this, I've got this, I've got notes down the bottom of a, of a random piece of paper. And I'm like, shit, I've got to do this and I've got to do this and I've got to do this. And it, and it makes me feel really quite overwhelmed. So what I have done is I've opened up my planner and I'm like, all right, Nicola, you need to, you know, take some of your own medicine, which is what I would be telling other people to do. It's like, you need to do your fucking planner. So what I've got going on today, what I'm thinking about is what do I want to do over not only today, not only this week, not only this month, but also right through to the end of September, which is the, the end of the first quarter or the, the third quarter of this calendar year. So I'm getting really clear on that. So I know that I want to run Visible Live in September. I want to do a free event. I've got a whole bunch of free things, including a planner, um, to get up and make available for all of you to download and use and, and, and you know, get more productive and all of that kind of stuff. But I've got all of this stuff like on, on pieces of paper, post-it notes all over the place because I've had all of these thoughts over the last you know, week where I'm like, I've got to do this, I've got to do this, I've got to do this, I've got to do this. I'm just like, whoa, hang on. And when I get into that state, I get overwhelmed, I get distracted, I become unproductive and it's really unfreaking helpful. So here's literally what I'm doing. What am I focusing on? What do I want to, actually, that's not true. What do I want to achieve and get done through to end of September? And what do I want out of that? What do I want to achieve and get done through August? So now that I've got that clear, so if it's all of these free things, for instance, I've got my book is supposed to be arriving sometime today or tomorrow. I've got things that I want to do around that to, to really help promote it and, and, you know, get it into your hands and, you know, build some momentum around that. So I've got infrastructure to build around that. And that has to happen this week. Actually, it probably has to happen today. So that has to go into my today column. So this is what it looks like. Let me, oh, sorry about that. Hang on. How do you know where, oh, that's close. That's, that's up close and personal. All right. So here's literally my planner where I'm like, all right, what do I want to do? I'm getting in here at the moment. I'm getting my um, daily actions in for all the week to check out the focus for the month. Badassery. <laughs> of course. So I've got like, I've broken August down into four weeks of what it is that I want to do. And then what I'm doing in here. So I've got... I'm just like slowly kind of working my way through updating all of that. Now, what I'll do once that's done, hmm, there we go. Once that's done, let me just get you back in my little tripod. I'll print that off and that will sit with me. It'll sit just in, on top of that. It'll sit there and I will just work my way through Tuesday. I am not going to look at what's on the list for Wednesday. I will not look at what's on the list for Thursday. I will not look at what's on the list for Friday. And I will just work through the tasks that are that are right there in front of me. Now, what that does is it gives me at the end of the day, you know, and, and I try and break it down really, really small. What it does for me at the end of the day is it has me with a sense of achievement. I feel like I'm moving forward and I know that I'm able to tick the boxes of the things that are really important for this month. At the end of August, I will do the same thing for September. Each week, I'm putting in the new tasks for each week. So that to me is, is a way of me really being able to manage my mindset. I know that humans are, we are wired for certainty, right? We look for certainty. And if we don't have certainty in our world, we will resort to creating unresourceful certainty, right? So if, at the moment in Victoria and even South Australia, there's a New South Wales, things are changing in, in the whole country actually and probably around the world. Things are changing really rapidly, particularly like with, with COVID. And so one of the things that I have noticed from last time and for myself personally is that it's really hard or it can be really challenging to constantly be trying to stay positive, to be staying productive, to keeping my head in the game. 
So this is something that provides me with certainty because I don't know what's going to happen on Wednesday. I don't know what's going to happen next week. I don't know what's going to happen in, you know, next month. But this is all within my control, right? Getting all of this stuff done is in my control. Getting these things down for you is in your control. And so that then meets your basic human need for certainty. Now, what that does is it also then allows you to feel, it, it reduces cortisol production, it reduces your stress, it gives you a sense of achievement because you get to the end of the day and you're like, wow, look at all of these things that I got done. Like, I got that done, I got that done, I got that done. When I do my planner, if there's things that I'm like, oh shit, I forgot to put that in there, I will write it on and then cross it off. Now, I know that I'm not alone in this because we've talked about this before and some of you have told me that you do the same things. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, we get so much more done in a day than we even give ourselves credit for. So that is something that I would suggest that you do to help you to alleviate the uncertainty that's happening, to reduce your overwhelm and to keep you taking every day even if it's just one step forward, you're going to be when you keep taking one step forward, one step forward, one step forward. When you look back in a month's time, you will have got so much more done. You'll be feeling better. You'll be feeling focused and hopefully you'll be feeling a little bit more calm. So I trust that that is helpful for you. I will be making this planner available for you via download very, very soon. Uh, we've got visible live happening at the start of September so that you've got that uh, your marketing on point, your messaging on point and your ability to stand out from the crowd and cut through the noise online. It's a two day event. It's going to be amazing. That is happening uh, at the start of September. If you have any questions about that, let me know. The link is www nicolamorass.com.au forward slash rockstar because you are a rockstar. So that is it, my friends, for today. Have a fantastic, awesome, and amazing day. Get out there. Go help some people. Have a whole lot of fun doing it. And remember that the world is ready for your brand of awesome. If I don't see you before, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.